Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? I haven't done a video in a while. I'm slacking. I haven't shaved. Well, actually, guys, if I don't shave for two days, this is what it looks like. So I usually shave every other day. Pretty crazy, right? Anyways, I haven't done a video in a while, so I wanted to record something. I don't even care if it was a couple of minutes. There are a lot of changes on the way in my life right now. Um, I can't say too much. Um, all I know is that, you know, I had gotten a new iPhone. This is being recorded on my Android. I haven't <clears throat> fully switched over to my Android yet because I don't have all of my apps and my programs on there yet. I haven't, it's so much stuff and I have, I live off this phone. It's how I make my money. So I'm like addicted to it and I'm like afraid to break a habit essentially. So slowly switching information over on that phone. I still got to pay for this phone for at least... Really, it's supposed to be quite a few more months left, but I was going to pay it off next month or the month after, and you know, in full, what the phone would, the rest of what the phone would cost, because I got this phone forever ago, and it was like thirteen or fourteen hundred or some crazy astronomical number for this phone. This was when it was brand new. It's the S twenty one, the five G S twenty one plus Ultra or something like that. So this is supposed to be a great phone, and it has been. But the memory is literally almost full on it. That's how much I use it. And I'm constantly deleting things. I've dropped it a lot of times. And it's supposed to have a good video quality and all that. But honestly, my iPhone, I got the iPhone 14 Plus. So I could have gotten the 14 Pro or Pro Max, which were the two next ones up. And the only difference was the size on the phone. And there was a third camera on the back, which honestly, I was comparing in the store in T-Mobile. I was carrying, uh, comparing cameras. Uh, on the internet and what he was showing me not much of a difference at all and the iPhone 14 plus is smaller and it's smaller than this phone I want a smaller phone in my pocket I miss the I really do miss the days of like razors and smaller flip phones just because them some of them might have been thicker except for the razor obviously but I just like how they were more condensed and compact in your in your pocket these are like having many freaking laptops in our freaking pockets man like some of these phones are huge and i'm always moving and i'm on the go i wear shorts and pants multi-purpose everywhere i go whether i'm in the gym training going grocery shopping going out to dinner with a gorgeous ass woman like i'm wearing the same type of stuff all the time so you know uh to have a phone that's a little bit smaller to put in my pocket is much more easier but anyways look what i'm doing Cooking some bacon, and show you guys the signature, uh, not signature, but I've been eating my egg whites a lot lately, and I even got um, egg beaters. And by the way, you guys know, I don't know if I've said this, but I am, as far as I know, the first athlete on the planet or influencer of my kind to have something special and teamed up with Prime. So. What I like about this drink, guys, it's like drinking a Gatorade, but way less sugar. I mean, this is ice pop. This is amazing. This is like the first thing I tried from Prime, and it's just fire, and the blue one as well. There's so many different flavors. I'm going to get different packages from them every month with different flavors, so I'll let you guys know what that's going to be when I get it, and I'll show you guys because I'm going to post it, whatever. But, uh, yeah, 20 calories, 2 grams of sugar, 6 grams of carbs, freaking... 830 what 834 milligrams of electrolytes antioxidants b vitamins 250 milligrams of bcaas i gotta inform you guys on this stuff because it tastes so freaking good this is honestly the best sports drink i've ever had in my life and i'm not even exaggerating that that's literally why i wanted to be part of the brand i'm not being part of brands anymore that i don't if i don't genuinely like their product because I cannot push something I don't like. I'm just, I'm not fake like that. I can't, there's going to be no energy or no real momentum behind it if I don't do that. So expect to see me more with Drink Prime. Um, they even got the drink mixes that you can take on the go for water bottles and stuff like that. And I haven't tried those yet because I don't really do that because I'm always drinking the actual Prime. But when I run out of this Prime and have to uh, start drinking water, I'm going to use those. So anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm cooking up a little bacon and some egg whites right now, having a very small meal. Uh, it's been raining outside, but I was going to go for a walk, wait a little bit and see, but I at least wanted to talk, update you guys. Uh, I'm still hoping to get ready to do the show at the end of May. 
If not, I will do another show later in the year. I just don't know if I'm going to exactly right now if I'm going to be ready or not. But I'm hoping I will. I kind of came up with all this last minute. I had somebody who knows somebody I'm friends with. She works for the organization there for the MPC in the state of Wyoming where I was going to compete and really was pushing me to do this. So she's helping with helping me with all the information because I don't really know how all of this works. I've never done a show before. I've never even really posed. So I'm doing this and pulling it all together at the last minute. And if it doesn't happen now, rest assured, I'm already registered for the MPC. I'll do it later in the year. Um, but I do have some friends helping me with some video stuff. I got a friend here um, in Houston. She's going to be helping me. Someone I've known for over a year now through social media. And if we've hung out and met several times here in Houston. Um, and I've just met some other videographers recently closer here to home in, where I am in Cyprus. Because I live considerably far north of Houston where all the other influencer guys and athletes or athletes they all live down there closer to alpha land and corrupted strength like so they live you know 5 10 15 20 minutes away from those gyms whereas if I live more like 35 minutes to 45 minutes plus it's usually 40 minute drive to alpha land so I'm like they think I'm really far away all those people that live down there <clears throat> but there's people all over Houston gyms all over here but it's crazy. Gyms are popping all the time, every day, all over the place. There's no such thing as a dead or a quiet day around here. So, anyways, let me get back to it. All right, so we are back and live in the kitchen. Here's my new iPhone. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's lavender. It's like a light purple. I like dark purple, but they only had like black and purple as the options, black and white. Everybody gets that, so I wanted something different. I don't give a shit if it seems like a girl's color. But anyways, pouring up my egg whites. I don't measure this in a cup. See the pan where it curves? I literally stop it when it covers. Oh shit, I forgot to put, I forgot to put pan stick on this, man. Hold on. Ah, uh, wasted good egg, guys. What do I do? Listen, I'm not even gonna stop recording right now because I'm literally showing you guys how much of an amateur I am in the kitchen. And I also have a weird fetish, right? I have a weird fetish of having dirty towels laying around, so I'm always cleaning things out with paper towels, so it's kind of excessive. And people are probably often like, yo, I almost did it again. People are probably often like, yo, probably spent more money on too much money on paper towels and I'm like well that's why I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's got the whole ring it ends up I end up uh, so when I get my one of my egg white finishes it turns I turn it into like an omelet where I flip it over basically it just doesn't have the yellow like from a real egg so that's like two eggs worth I think maybe three and then I got six pieces of bacon Normally I wouldn't have that much bacon. Um, it is a lower fat bacon. I don't, I don't have the original packaging to it anymore. But um, you know, I, uh, I'm not really gonna eat much else besides this. I know that sounds crazy. Cause that's like, the egg whites are like nothing. Bacon is just a bunch of fat, which I haven't had much of. So that's why it's gonna feel good. It's gonna taste good, but it's not gonna fill me up at all bacon and eggs. So I'll have a protein shake. Still got some of this raw cookies and cream. So I have a shake that'll have, you know, like 30 to 40 grams of protein, but um, I eat this egg whites, not necessarily the bacon, but I'll have like egg whites, a Greek yogurt, oatmeal. See, I have Kodiak oats, got the whole thing. Kodiak had, true story, some people know this, Kodiak had sent me so much food quite a few different times. Um, you know, I still buy their products in the store, but I literally still have oatmeal from months ago that they had sent me. I was trying so hard to talk with them and negotiate with them to be a sponsored athlete with them or to at least be affiliated and continuously get that free product every single month because they have some of the best snacks in stores. Their snacks don't have, um, see I'm promoting for them right now, even though I have a small audience, it's still promotion. 
uh, everybody buys code. Someone along the way buys Kodiak at the store. Their products are super expensive. You know, store brand waffles and pancakes, two dollars. Where theirs are six or seven dollars. It's a lot. So it's definitely something that the rich kids are eating and rich people are eating. Uh, you have to really want to spend your money on it because it's expensive. But it would have been cool just to get continuous product from them for free every single month and to be associated with the brand. Like I would have, that's a company I would have done that for. I always tell people not to promote and do things for free. But if you're able to get products that change your life and help your life, your daily life, like, like I was saying, so many of their snacks are low sugar, lower carb. And mind you, you still need carbs. Like, you know, if I'm dieting down for a bodybuilding show or somebody else who's done it, for example, like 50 grams of carbs per day is really low. I don't even think bodybuilders are going that low, more like 100 or 150, but for whatever reason, that was the torture I decided to put my through when I lost weight at the end of last year. And because I'm trying to do a show at the last minute and I'm not well prepared for it, I totally amateur hour status. Like I admit it guys, like I have so many other things going on. So this isn't like my main focus. And I even said before I went into it, like I would give the training 100% and I would do all that 100%. But the amount of time I decided to get into it and me never doing a show before and not really feeling like I'm ready, but I'm kind of, my body is literally just at that point now where my shape is showing, my shoulders are around, my chest is popping, even my biceps, you know, are getting bigger, my arms are popping and showing more shape and definition. Um, so I really bulked up and gained that size and I'm at an all time high with strength right now. The only thing that's lacking is my deadlifts, but every other movement and lift is heavier than before. I never used to squat, so squats automatically are heavier. Um, you know, I can squat 315 for reps and I don't do it too often because I have freaking old man knees. So I try to go on machines. I don't even really like doing the hex. I was obsessed with the hex squat for a minute and I kind of fell back from that already. But, uh, Anyway, is getting there. So yeah, this is a quick cook for me. You know, the egg white, the, like I just microwave my bacon. It's already uh, pre-cooked, but it's not just that nonsense pre-cooked bacon. I believe it's boar's head. Like I said, I threw the box out already in the bag. I don't know what, I can't remember what it was, but low fat, healthy, or not healthy, but low fat, uh, supposed to be like lower salt bacon. I got it from one of the grocery stores here. And, um, yeah, it's thicker cut, but even though it's not the garbage, you know, typical Walmart bacon that you guys buy, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, the great value stuff, this is thicker cut, it tastes a lot better, and when you fry it, it really, when the bacon's really crispy, I mean, it's, it's really good bacon. You know, this is simple, it's easy to cook this stuff, so, anyways, I'll shut up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so my food is complete. Obviously it was simple. Nice egg white. See, it looks kind of like an omelet, some bacon, and then I'm having a lean body shake. 40 grams of protein. And this is not gonna fill me up. I will have probably a Greek yogurt for a snack later tonight. This is early for dinner, so I'm definitely gonna have something in a few hours. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be me eating this, very minimal from here on out through the night, and then wake up in the morning. That's when I'm really burning all my calories. And what I do at that point is I usually just have a protein shake. I don't have any carbs and I go to the gym. Sometimes if I know I'm gonna have a heavy lift, I might eat something with a little carbs in it, but not enough to the point where I'm filling myself up. I'd like to, so I could keep hitting heavier weight easier and that's gonna decline soon, but oh well, I'm gonna eat this and I think I'm done with this video. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for a walk, which I'll extend another minute or two of talking on here if, if the weather holds up but if not this is the end of this video i appreciate you guys watching and uh you know i do have my youtube on a little bit of a pause right now i'm i just started my tiktok uh same exact name as instagram j Hibbert fitness i only got a little over 100 followers on there i literally just started it so it's going to take a minute to work into the algorithm i'm trying to use different content me giving more life advice lifestyle stuff try to add some humor in there. It's gonna be little fitness stuff, but Instagram is gonna primarily be all pictures with fitness and modeling type stuff, physique stuff, and um, obviously some training, but I'm trying to 
really change and evolve here with everything across the board and YouTube is going to be the hardest one until I can figure out what direction I want to go in with this and who I have that can help me. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit before I can really figure this out. It's going to take me being in a routine in one place with the right people around me. So can't wait for that to happen. Either way, I'm going to I'm going to make it, guys. So it doesn't really matter. I'm in a good place in life and I hope you guys are too. I appreciate anybody following along and please subscribe to the channel.